living in Taiwan as a black person comes with its own trials and tribulations. I think it is quite hard to make friends with local people. The differences between being black in Taiwan versus being black in China. One thing has to be pictures. When I lived in China, I lived in many different cities, but when I lived there, people loved to take pictures of me and with me. 95% of the time without my consent. In Taiwan, that's not really a thing. I think I've been here for about 11 months and I've seen one person take a picture of me. Old man. And apart from that, nobody takes pictures of me, which I like. It's very uncomfortable when people take pictures of you, especially when they don't ask. Number two has to be watching me. In China, people loved to touch my skin to see if my color would come off or touch my hair, especially if my hair looked like... <laughs> This, they would love to touch my hair but without asking people wouldn't ask me can I touch your hair they would just touch me disclaimer if you're in Taiwan or you're anywhere in the world actually that doesn't have a lot of black people and you see a black person and you like their hair and you think it looks really nice do not touch their hair okay ask them most likely they probably will say no but you know at least ask don't just be like and touch their hair because that makes people feel really uncomfortable in taiwan generally generally people ask me can i touch your hair um which is okay but i still don't really like it but at least they ask um, as a black person i think living in taiwan is somewhat better for example when i go outside people will look at me but not as much i live in a city in taiwan where there isn't that many foreigners and especially not that many black people and people generally don't stare at me they generally don't they generally just leave me alone because in china people used to look at me all, all the time but I think it also depends on who you're with and I find that when I'm in Taiwan and I'm with a Taiwanese person people will stare at me more I haven't really had that many negative experiences in Taiwan I think one main one main phenomenon is obviously Asia this continent is in general all countries in Asia are pretty much homogenous. If generally speaking in Taiwan it's been pretty positive. There has been some instances where it's hard for people to believe that I am from England. Um, I think when people think about England they think that England is full of white people which is true obviously the vast majority of people in England are white but especially if you're from London it's a very diverse city with people from all around the world. I think a lot of people have the misconception that all black people are from Africa but we are everywhere. There are pros and cons of living in either Taiwan or China. I think if you live in any really homogenous society um, obviously it will be hard to fit in. I have encountered you know some people who do not think fondly of black people but i think a lot of that comes from preconceived notions of what you think uh, a particular group of people will be like a single person in this world is different regardless if we're all black or we're all taiwanese or whatever every single person is an, is an individual entity watching media watching the media watching the news maybe doesn't really paint black people in a very positive light but i think you know as the same with any other race of people there are going to be good people and they're going to be bad people and i think first you should try to get to know the person rather than kind of see 
them from face value and kind of think oh this person is black or this person is Taiwanese they must be like this because that might not necessarily be true. Living in Taiwan as a black person comes with its own trials and tribulations. I think it is quite hard to make friends with local people but I think more so than anything to do with color. So if people just look at you face value, I think a lot of people would assume that I don't speak Chinese and so they wouldn't want to make friends with me before living in Taiwan has been pretty good so far but I think that if you ever do meet a foreigner you should try to kind of don't look at them as a foreigner but just try to actually get to know them as a person because it, it could surprise you you know you could meet somebody who you have a lot in common with and you meet people who are not from your country I think you shouldn't try not to kind of put up a barrier try to get past their their outer look and kind of try to get to know what kind of person they are on the inside if there's anybody out there who's watching this video who's thinking mm, should I come to Taiwan would I like it especially if you're black I think you have to be open-minded in the sense of if you go to any country in Asia it's very different from Western countries why it's all a melting pot we have a lot of different cultures and people mixed together you have to kind of keep that in mind that you're going to a very homogenous society and I wouldn't say don't come because I think Taiwan is a nice place with many nice people and lots of nice things to see but I think you just have to bear in mind that obviously every single country is different me personally if I was to compare Taiwan and China and which place do I like you know both have their merits and for me personally I think I prefer living in Taiwan just because I get to live a life that's a bit more like a human in the sense of obviously there's people who are curious about me and curious about the fact that I'm black and the fact that I'm foreign, the fact that I can, you know, they're very, people are very curious. Um, but I think generally speaking, while living here, people leave me to live my life and don't really get too involved in my life. Um, and I can kind of just live how I want to live with more freedom per se. I don't really feel like a zoo animal, which is kind of what I felt like in China. So I think if you're if you're somebody who's black and you really want to go to Asia and see what it's like, I definitely would recommend Taiwan and see for yourself because maybe your experience would be different from mine. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe.